Hey, what's happening guys? So today I wanted to do um, a real world coding example and this is the challenge. So at Cars, when we select a make and model, we go into here and we select like Audi and BMW, say X1 uh, and then I3. And we select another car like a Fiat, but no models. Then actually let's select a 500. Then let's select Havel, no models. We land up with this kind of string, a placeholder string. What we're actually getting back when we select the models is a data structure that looks like this, where we have the makes as keys and then the models as arrays to those keys. Cool, so the challenge is to use this kind of data structure to get this kind of output, where we basically prefix the models always with the make. So if you guys wanna have a go, give me your answers in the comments. Otherwise, this is how I did it. So the first thing I wanted to do was get all the makes out of this selected makes and models. So I went object dot keys and I passed through the selected makes and models. And this would give me all the makes, well, the selected makes. Once I had the selected makes, I wanted to reduce them into a single string. So I run reduce on selected makes, selected makes dot reduce and reduce takes a function which takes an accumulator and then the value passing through in this case it's a make and we also need to pass through the first value for the accumulator which I'm going to make an empty string then we need to see if there's any selected models so we'll make a variable here const selected models and that is going to be our selected makes and models make so what we're doing is we're looping through these and we're checking, does this have any selected models? Does this have any selected models? And so on. Um, but we also need to check the output. So we always want to have the make and the output. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable here, let output. And at the very least, it's going to be the name of the make. So then I want to do is I want to check if there are any selected models. So I'm going to check if selected models dot length is greater than zero because we always know it's going to be an array so it's not going to be null or anything like that so if it's greater than zero i want to prefix all those models with the name of the current make so the easiest way to do that is i think by doing a map and join so i say output is equal to selected models dot map and this takes in a a function and we'll have the model here and we return the name of the make plus the name of the model so what this map is going to do is it's going to map through all these models and prefix every model with its make and create a new array so if we log this here we'll see what this array looks like cool so you see it's bmw x1 bmw i3 Fiat 500, but it leaves these ones alone because we're doing this select models check. So what we actually want to do is now join them. So we can use dot join and we want to join them with a comma, actually a comma and a space. And there we go. There we have these strings that we need matches up exactly. And at the end of this, what we want to do is we want to return the output, but we don't just want to return the output. We want to return the output with the accumulator. So we can say if there is an accumulator, so if this is basically not the first run, then we want to return the previous accumulator in a template string, comma, the output. Otherwise, we just want to return the output. And that's pretty much it. Let me just give this a variable name. I'm going to call this const placeholder. And then I'm going to log the placeholder. And there we go, we have the exact output we were looking for. Cool, so now I wanna do the same function in Clojure. So I have this variable that I've bound this map to, um, which is similar to what I have in JavaScript. The difference here is that we don't have colons and we don't have the comma separated arrays. Instead, we have these vectors which are space separated. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a function called create placeholder. So I'm gonna say, define function and I'm going to say create placeholder 
and that is going to take selected makes and models as its first argument. And the way I want to solve this is by mapping over this map and seeing it and also destructuring it. So I get the make and then I get the models and then I'm going to see if there are models, I'm going to map over those. I'm going to join them with their make and create a new map. And then I want to see, okay, if that map exists, then basically use that map as a string. Otherwise just send through the make. Um, let me show you how I'm, I'll just write it out and then you'll see. So the first thing I want to do is map over the selected make and models. So map um, over selected make and models. And I'm going to pass through a function here. And this function is going to take each of these, each of these items. So I want to destructure them and I want to say the first key is the make and the second key is the models. And then I just want to print this out to make sure that what I'm saying is true. So print line make and models. I'm going to save this and then I just want to run this function. Um, oh, first we actually have to start a REPL. So I'm going to open my terminal. I'm going to go line REPL. I'm going to copy this as the port number and then I'm going to connect to a running REPL. I'm using Culver here. Connect to it and close this terminal. And now I'm going to run this function. So create placeholder and I'm going to pass through the selected makes and models. Save it and run it. Cool. So we have exactly what we thought we were going to have. We have um, each make and their models. So now what I want to do in here is create a let binding. And I want to say models with makes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to map over these models and prepend the make to them. And I'm just going to get rid of this print line and I'm going to open this here. And the way we're going to do that is just move this to the side. Is we're going to do a map again and we want to map over models. And I'm going to use a shorthand uh, function. So that takes hash. Another argument is a percentage sign. So we want to join. So we join the string make with model. And then if we print this, so we go to print line models with makes should get something. Cool. Okay. So now we're getting them, but we need to put a space in between. Save that. And there we go. We have our list of models of well, yeah, models with their makes. That's perfect. So now we can't return these like they are. We need them as strings. So I actually want to join them. I want to make them comma separated. So for that, I need to require the closure string namespace. So to do that, you just go closure and start string. I'm requiring it as string. And then I can just go string join this map. Oops. This map. And I want to join them with a comma and a space. So now if I save this, perfect. Now we have them as strings and not as lists, which is perfect because now we want to add them as strings to another or well, to a vector. And to do that, we'll get rid of this. So we're going to say if empty models with makes, then we just want to return the make because we don't have any models. Otherwise we'll return the models with makes. And if we save this, yeah, we get a list of the makes if there, cause Audi has no models. So it just returns Audi, but BMW has models. So it returns the models with makes. And that's what we have here. That looks good. And to finish this off, we just need to join these together. So string dot join again or string join. And we're going to do the same thing here with a comma separation. And then we're going to move this form inside of here, save this oh, and join with a, doesn't have a G and there we go. There's our, there's our output. So if we just copy this output and we just compare it against what we want, that looks pretty good to me. So that's how I made this closure function. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. This was just the way I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.